What is up everyone? I'm Ryan and I am back in Cambodia where I work and or play. I don't know, people work. Like work is a bit of a loose term. Like and today I want to talk to you about safety when it comes to travel. There are a lot of people out there terrified to travel to certain countries because well, it's not really based on anything. It's because they're scared little homies. Don't be scared, homie. Don't be scared. We just got back from our summer travels to Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan. You should check out those videos after this one, of course. When I first told people we were traveling to Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan, the first thing I would say four, five, six people said was, is it safe there? Some of them just right away said, you can't, you, why are you traveling there? That's not safe. You can't go there. It's safe. It has stand at the end of it. We dodged bombs daily, bullets flying past our heads. The poison, <coughs> the poison was everywhere. <coughs> Guess what? We made it. We're here. We made it. We're alive. We weren't sold into slavery, despite visiting a city that was once known as the slave capital of the world. See if we can find some quality Russian slaves. Oh, there's some there. This building was the old slave market here in Kiva. For 200 plus years, mostly Persian and Russian slaves were sold here. At its peak, around 100,000 slaves were sold in Kiva in a single year. No sign of any slaves for sale right now, but they do have some pretty snazzy carpets. Yes. Just bought a carpet, one of these types. Okay, we need to pay. One, two, three, four, five. Those countries were just two of the five countries we traveled to this summer. We also went to Cambodia, we live here, Thailand, uh, and then there was Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and then after we went to Indonesia. Now, Sarah, she's like big ball travel girl, and she is also going to Canada. She's in Canada right now. So her travel list looks like this, Cambodia, Thailand, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Indonesia, Japan, and Canada. She had a layover in Japan, she hung out there for 24 hours or so. So she's, she's breaking records, right? I mean, by the time she gets back from Canada, she's going to have flown 15 times in the past month, two months. 15 times. God, that's awful. So this is our list of countries. And now what I want you guys to do is to rank them. Very simple. Rank them. Top of the list, the safest country. Bottom of the list, the least safest country. Do that now. Oh, wait. All right. That's enough time for you guys. Guys. I want to introduce you to the Global Law and Order Report 2023, made by a company called Gallup, which is a management consulting company based out of Washington, D.C. They're kind of known for their public opinion polls, and that's exactly what this report consists of. They use four questions to get a sense of people's experience with crime in their home country and how safe they feel in their home country. I like that because unlike other safety by country rankings, they aren't just determining the results based on crime reports. Not every crime is reported. And they're not giving the country a rating based on the entirety of their country. It's kind of more about population. They're asking local people. More people live in cities. So those populated areas should be weighted more. A lot of countries lose points in these safety rankings because they have a border dispute with somebody and there's an area of the country where they're fighting with another country. But really, not that many people live in that area. And you're probably not going to travel to that area, so you shouldn't really judge the safety of the entire country based on that one little section. Gallup's Law and Order Index asks these four questions, and feel free to answer along. If you want to comment below, put the name of the country you're living in, and answer the four questions, and they're just simple yes or no answers. First question, in the city or area where you live, do you have confidence in the local police force? I would say no to this one. Second question. Do you feel safe walking alone at night in the city or area where you live? I would say yes to this one. Question the third. Within the last 12 months, have you had money or property stolen from you or another household member? Hmm. Me? No. Sarah? No. No. And finally, within the past 12 months, have you been assaulted or mugged? No, I haven't. These four questions were asked to 146,000 people aged 15 or older in 141 countries or territories across the world. So that's about 1,000 people surveyed per country. And here are the results. The countries with the highest scores are... Uh-oh. something up. I got a spinning beach ball. That's not good. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. First, the countries with the highest scores, the safest countries, number one, Tajikistan, number two, Finland, three, Iceland, four, Kuwait, five, Luxembourg, six, Norway, seven, Vietnam, eight, Switzerland, nine, Denmark, and number 10, Indonesia. Booyah. 
That's on our list. That's going to be number one on our list. Indonesia. Surprise, surprise, mother... Actually, there are 13 countries in the top 10 list because we got some ties. Uzbekistan also scored a 90. They're tied with Indonesia at the top of our list. How are you guys doing so far? Not so hot, eh? Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought you guys were going to ace this. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Here are the countries that scored the lowest on the report, the least safe countries according to their own people. Bolivia, Peru, Uganda, Cameroon, Ecuador, Gabon, South Africa, the Republic of Congo, Sierra Leone, and the Gambia. I didn't realize that Gambia was actually the Gambia. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. I wish we were the Canada. So we got a lot of African countries on the list and we got three South American countries. It's funny because when I moved to Vietnam, Cambodia, China, I got way more, is it safe there? Questions than when I moved to Ecuador, which is what, the fifth? Fifth most dangerous country in the world, according to this. The average score out of the 141 countries was 83. And it's interesting that almost all the Anglosphere countries scored an 83. The US, Britain, Australia, Canada, not New Zealand. New Zealand, we're gonna talk about them in a second, but I thought that was kind of interesting. We should also note that there are a few countries that are missing from this report for whatever reason. For example, Ukraine is not on the list. They got stuff going on there that uh, they didn't really have time to fill out the report, I guess. And Singapore, for some reason, is not on the list this year. Usually they are on the list and usually they actually win it. They're the safest country. Um, but for whatever reason, they're not on the list this year. Okay, let's go back to the list of countries that Sarah has traveled to this summer. Let's finish this ranking. Cambodia, they scored an 83 with 43 countries ranking higher than them. Thailand is at around number 73 with a score of 78. They tied with Iran, Panama, and New Zealand. There's New Zealand. I doubt many people would be throwing the old, is it safe there? If I told them I was traveling to New Zealand, and yet they scored the same as Iran. And I imagine people would be throwing the old, is it safe there? If I told them I was going to Iran. Kyrgyzstan, they are about 59 countries from the top with a score of 81. So that puts them right there. Japan, you got to imagine that's a pretty safe place. They scored an 86, so they are in second as of now. And finally, Canada, my home and native land. I already mentioned that they scored an 83. They tie with Cambodia. So there's your rankings. How did you do? Let me know in the comments below. I imagine not many of you thought that Indonesia and Uzbekistan would be the safest countries on that list. Surprise, surprise. Oh. Of course, there are some limitations to this list. The perception of safety in Indonesia might be different than the perception of safety in Canada. But I do think this report is a better source if you're trying to determine which country to travel to. If you want to make sure it's going to be safe to travel to a place. I would check this list over something like the Global Peace Index, which is put together by an international panel of peace experts, not by people that have necessarily even been to the country they're ranking. They take into consideration things like financial contribution to UN peacekeeping missions, which is something I don't really think you need to consider when you're trying to determine which country to travel to based on safety. What's interesting is that if we were to rank these countries based on how many foreign visitors they received in 2022, the list would look like this. Thailand is number two on our list when it comes to tourism, but it's the lowest ranked when it comes to safety. In fact, Thailand is the most visited country in Southeast Asia, and yet it is the second least safe country according to its own people. The only Southeast Asian country that scores lower than it is Myanmar, and I believe they just put their, their military chief in charge as their acting president. Not a good sign. In 2022, Peru was the 10th most traveled to country in the Americas. Not bad for a country that is tied for last place when it comes to the Global Law and Order Report. They scored a 61, the same as Bolivia. Lastly, let me ask you this. What is the most popular country to travel to for Americans? The answer is overwhelmingly Mexico with 33.5 million Americans visiting it in 2022. In fact, it's the sixth most visited country in the entire world. And yet, on the Global Law and Order Report, Mexico scored a 66. It actually tied with Myanmar and Venezuela. It's just 21 spots up from the very last place. I can think of at least five people who have expressed concerns about countries that I've traveled to, but they've also been to Mexico. Or maybe they go to Mexico like once a year. Some people, it's the only place they've ever been. Every year, they just go to Mexico. I'm not saying don't go to Mexico. I'm saying stop hounding me about the... The places I travel to. It's just kind of frustrating when you're excited about going to a place, you're telling somebody about your awesome travel plans, and they're only concerned that 
it ends in Stan. Is it safe there? I think after traveling to 40 some odd countries, you should probably give me the benefit of the doubt because I am doing my research when it comes to travel. Okay, mom? No, mom gets a free pass. She's allowed to worry. But to the rest of you, next time I hear, is it safe there? Just be prepared for me to bring up this report and possibly point out to you that the country that you're living in is actually less safe than the country I'm about to travel to. And that's my two cents. I'm Brock Lesnar. Not Brock Lesnar. Brock. I'm Brock. I'm Kent Brockman. And that's my two cents. Take care. Comb your hair. I'm out. Don't match up. No love. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie.